So now we will discuss uh, about another type of uh, steel structures, cold form steel structures, also known as weight cage uh, steel structures, because uh, the weight of uh, steel structures which are made up of uh, cold form steel sections, they are light, they are not heavy. So this is uh, based on the two codes. IS 801 1975, which is reaffirmed in 2010, and also IS 811 1987, which is reaffirmed in 2004. So, these two code books we have to follow for the design of cold formed uh, steel structures. So, the name is because it is made from thin steel sheets uh, of 1 and 2 3 mm thick, uh, thickness, and also it is formed in cold state, so which is uh, uh, opposite of that uh, hot formed or hot cold uh, steel sections. We learned uh, how to design steel structures using uh, ISMB or ISLB sections like that, ISFB sections. They are all hot cold sections. So for that we are using uh, IS 800 uh, code book. Now for uh, cold uh, form steel structures or light cage steel structures, we have to refer these two codes and normally uh, these are the shapes, some of the shapes uh, which we come across in uh, cold form steel structures, maybe a channel shape like this or an angle shape like this. Uh, some uh, these are the different some of the shapes uh, which we go uh, which we use in the case of cold form steel structures, where T is the thickness. Normally the thickness is kept uniform. Whereas in the case of hot rolled hot rolled sections, uh, the thickness of flange and thickness of web they will be different. Whereas here, this is also T and this is also T. Normally, uniform uh, thickness sections are adopted, and this B is called as the width of the section. So, depending on the type of the structure, depending on the load or end conditions, the profile of the cross section of the cold form steel structures is decided. So, different types of uh, uh, sections are provided. Uh, uh, in this uh, course and uh, uh, normally the properties, so the uh, section properties just like uh, what we did in case of uh, hot rolled sections, uh, so that the moment of inertia, section modulus and area, they are all given uh, for different types of uh, uh, sections uh, in this uh, in these two course. Now, yeah, there are some advantages of using this uh, code form field sections uh, compared to hot rolled sections. So the yield strength value in the case of uh, cold form steel sections, uh, it varies from 230 to 280 Newton per mm square. Whereas the value of uh, yield strength in the case of hard rolled sections, we take it as normally FY as 250 Newton per mm square. Of course, it varies. So if, uh, if the data is not given, we can take it as 250. So here, the value of FY can go up to. Uh, 280 also, that is the advantage. So, higher strength we can achieve using the core form sections. So, these are some of the advantages. This is an important question. So, what are the advantages of using core form steel sections? So, the first one is the, you can have a higher yield strength value. So, normally 15 to 30 percent higher than the hot core sections we can have. Then, cross section shapes can be formed to close tolerances and for a longer length. So cross section uh, shapes can be like this. Tolerance means accuracy. So it can be the thickness can be accurately uh, taken in the case of uh, hot cold sections, and uh, it can be done for a longer length also. So third one is cold rolling can be employed to get any desired shape and desired length. So length of the uh, section uh, can be we can have for desired length and also. You can have different types of cross sections like this. You can have some more types of cross sections also. So it can be employed due to that uh, cold rolling process. Next, pre galvanized or pre coated metals can be formed uh, to have higher resistance to corrosion with an attractive surface finish. So surface finish can be better surface finish can be achieved uh, in this case and also pre-coated metals or pre-galvanized uh, uh, metals uh, can be formed uh, uh, to have higher resistance to corrosion. So because the uh, steel structures are uh, corrodable in nature, so we can go for higher corrosion by having these techniques uh, in cold formed steel sections. 
Next, any jointing method can be adopted in cold form field structures, maybe riveting or bolting or welding or even, or even adhesives also can be employed with, uh, without much difficulty. Next, uh, the advantage is high strength to weight ratio because these are light, light uh, gauge structures so the, and, uh, and also has a higher yield strength value, there will be the ratio of uh, strength to uh, weight uh, will be very high in the case of cold form sections compared to hot cold sections. And since they are very light in uh, weight, uh, it is very easy to transport and erect. And also the load carrying capacity also can be increased uh, by using uh, uh, this uh, cold form steel sections compared to hot cold sections. Now here just uh, I have given an example uh, to compare the different properties, geometrical properties of uh, both hot cold as well as cold form sections. So I have taken a hot cold section like this. This is a channel section of course, single channel section uh, with uh, overall depth 100 uh, mm and width of plank as 50 mm, thickness of plank 7.7 mm and thickness of web is 5 mm. So you can observe that thickness of plank and web are different here or are in millimeters. So the area of this section is 1193 millimeter square. Now keeping the same area, so I want to have the same area for cold form section. So three types of cold form sections uh, we can have. Uh, for the same area, you can see here, area of these three are same as this. So we can have three uh, shapes like this with different dimensions. So these are the three core form sections and same area as this. You can observe here is the thickness of these sections are uniform. Suppose if you want to have a thickness of 5 mm, 5 mm, then what happens? We say to have to achieve the same area, so you can have 117.5 mm overall width and 58.8 this prime width and this lip, this is called as lip. So this lip portion uh, has a length of 11.8 uh, or width of 11.8 mm both sides here. Suppose if you are reducing, if you are reducing the thickness to 3 mm, naturally this uh, depth will increase. So it will be 188 or width you can say width will increase 188 mm and this will be 94, and these are 94 and this is 18.03. Suppose still if you reduce the thickness as to 2 mm, then this B will increase once again to achieve the same area, 277.5 mm, this is 113.8, these are 113.8 and this is 27.8 mm. That means the areas, keeping the areas same, we can have three types of cold form steel sections for a given area of the hard rolled section. Now if you list out the uh, properties of these sections, you can observe here, so from steel tables you can get all these, uh, these values. So area is 1193, of course area I am taking same, so keeping the same area. What happens to the uh, moment of inertia and section modulus? So I will take this horizontal axis as xx and vertical as yy axis. So you can uh, tabulate the values of these things like this. Ixx for this channel, hot rolled channel section is 1.8 whereas for this cold form section 2.55 into 10 power 6. You can see here the value is increasing. You can see here. So I am, I am taking the thickness for 5 mm thickness, uh, the value of Ixx is this. For 3 mm thickness, the value of Ixx is this. For 2 mm thickness, the value of Ixx is this. You can see that the value goes on increasing. So the moment of inertia value is increasing. That means uh, the section is more stronger, it is becoming stronger and stronger. So then uh, elastic uh, section models, Zxx along the x-axis for this channel section, hot mode channel section is 38 into 10 power 3 millimeter cube. Whereas for this, if you calculate, you will get higher values. It goes on increasing, you can see here. Similarly, along the y direction, y axis, that is um, the moment of inertia, IYY, for this hot mode section, it is 0.299 into 10 power 6. Whereas for the cold form sections, it goes on increasing. And ZYY also, for this it is 9.1 to 10 power 3. And for these three, it is going on increasing. That means, what you can say here is, Suppose if you keep the same cross-sectional area 
for hot for hot cold section and cold form the steel section the other properties moment of inertia which are which is strength related properties uh, it goes on increasing that is the advantage of using a, a cold form section so uh, once this i value z value increases definitely load carrying capacity of the section gets increased so you can have a comparative type of problem uh, for for this uh, problem only suppose if this is the channel section so you can always compute uh, for a given length uh, how much uh, suppose if this is used as a column or a beam so what is the load carrying capacity of this hot mold section and what is the load carrying capacity of this cold form section if you calculate then you can observe that this will have more values so that means this cold form sections they can take more load compared to hot mold sections those those types of problems we will be discussing later in this cold form steel sections